Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you where photons come from. Well, photons, it sounds like a particle, but it isn't. But it isn't a wave either. It's a particle of waves or a wave of particles, I'm not sure which, but it originates and photons originate from energy changes within an atom. So you can imagine you've got an atom with a nucleus, but it's not the nucleus we're interested in, it's the electrons which are flying around it. And these electrons are allowed to have certain energy levels. This is in the what's called the Bohr model, after Niels Bohr. So this Bohr model, which was postulated around the 1930s, suggested that electrons, when they fall from one energy to another, can only do so in certain ways. They can only have certain energies. They can't have any, any old energy. And they are said to be quantized. So if they are quantized, they fall from one energy level to another, and they emit H nu zero one, we'll call it. That is, H is Planck's constant, and nu is the frequency. This is a certain amount of energy where the difference in energy is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't understand that too much, but just remember that it depends strictly on that energy difference. So it's only certain energies you can get. And this H nu is a photon, a little packet of energy. Well, we can call it a bun bundle of energy. You can call it a particle if you like because it sometimes behaves a bit like a particle and sometimes behaves a bit like a wave. Now, obviously, in this model, there can be various different falls, changes of energy like this. You can see I've got several here. There can be many others, too. I mean, I could fall, it could fall from there to there. That is also producing a different photon of energy. And all these different energy levels give us lots of different energies. And when you see a light burning, like a, a street light, and it looks yellow, that's probably because it's sodium, because sodium actually produces two very specific colours of yellow light, which are very, very precise. It is not a general yellow colour, it is two absolute distinct wavelengths of light. It is monochromatic, absolutely monochromatic, and therefore this produces monochromatic bundles of energy. So sodium is typical of that, but all materials when they produce light produce different bundles of photons, and these photons have different energies which gives them different colours, whether you can see them or whether you can't.